Hello, it's Marco here, and in this UV Packmaster tutorial, I'm going to present one of the advanced packing functionalities of the packer, the heuristic search. Now it's all available in the heuristic search panel. Now keep in mind the options from the packing options and the pixel margin panel were already covered in the previous basic packing options tutorial. Now, if you're not familiar with the basic packing options of the packer, I highly recommend you watch that tutorial first, and there's going to be a link in the description for that. Now, this is the UV map that I'll be using throughout the entire tutorial, so let's kind of get started. Now, in order to explain how the heuristic search works, let me run a packing operation with this functionality disabled, okay? So let's just go ahead and press pack. The UV map was packed immediately, and if you take a closer look at the operation statistics, you will see that the packer performed exactly one iteration of the algorithm, applied the results to the UV map, and then finished immediately. You can also see the resulting UV islands area after the packing is 0.744. One thing I haven't done is enabled my CPU. So I'm gonna go edit preferences, and in the add-ons panel, I'm just gonna type in UV, and then we're gonna have UV Packmaster here scroll down to the bottom and enable CPU packing as well. So undoing that, I'm just gonna press pack again. Now we can see that we're utilizing both the CPU and the GPU. And once again, I got the result of 0.744. So that's the default behavior of the packer. Apply the first packing you could find and finish immediately. Now let's see whether we can improve this result. In other words, let's find a result providing a tighter packing of the islands. Now, we are going to be able to compare the tightness of two different packaging by comparing the island area after packing in both cases. Now, the greater the area, the tighter the packing is. And by the way, that's the main rationality behind UV packing, if you didn't know already. We want to make a given set of islands to cover the greatest area possible in the target UV space. So I'm going to undo my last operation, and we're going to now enable the heuristic search. And as you can guess, the heuristic search allows you to find a better packing results for a given set of islands. Now it does that by changing the default behavior of the packer. So when enabled, it will make the packer continually iterate the algorithm for a specific time and apply the best results it can find. All right, so let's demonstrate this. I'm gonna press pack now with the heuristic search enabled. And as you can see, the packer is iterating the algorithm and doesn't finish immediately okay although it's very quick i just want you to see how the uv map is updating with the best results found in real time now the pack is just going to continually iterate until i manually apply the result by pressing escape button all right so let's just press it and we can check the operation statistics now the best result that we got was 0.756 which is better than the result of 7.44 so as you can see, thanks to the heuristic search, we could improve the packaging results. Now keep in mind, the more time you give the packer for the iterations, the better result you're gonna get. Now, another cool feature was that I was using the processing power across the computer. So I was using both the GPU and the CPU. So generally speaking, the more devices that are used for searching, the sooner a better result is found. So that's why I went back and enabled my CPU for packing. All right. So let's undo that operation and let's quickly now overview the options in the panel, allowing you to tune the searching algorithm. Now, the first one is the search time. Now, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Using this option, you can specify in seconds how long the packer is gonna spend searching. When the time is set to zero, which is the default value, which is what we had before, it's just gonna continue searching until you press the escape button, as, you know, was, in the case previously. Now for a quick demonstration, I'm just gonna set this to three seconds. There we go. And then I'm gonna press pack. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And as you can see, the packer stopped the operation automatically after three seconds. Now I didn't have to hit the escape button. Just one more thing to remember about the search time. Even if you set the search time to a value above zero, you can still press escape to stop the operation. You don't necessarily have to wait for it to finish. So I'm gonna set this parameter back to zero and undo the last operation. And now let's have a look at the next parameter, the max wait time. Now it provides another logic of stopping a search than the search time parameter. Now using max wait time, you can specify the maximum time the packer will wait for a best result. Now, if the algorithm is not able to find a tighter packing during that time, the operation will automatically finish, but Every time a better result is found, 
the timer is reset and waiting for a new result is restarted. All right, so let's set the max wait time to two and I'm gonna hit pack. And as you can see, after two seconds have elapsed with no new results found, the packer automatically finished searching. I didn't have to press escape. So when using the max wait time parameter, you don't know how long this operation is going to be running for. The packer will continue to iterate as long as a new result is found within the given time. The packer will stop when the search gets to a point where finding a new better result is difficult enough so that the timer is exceeded. All right, now let's have a look at the last operation in the heuristic search panel, the advanced heuristic. Now with this option enabled, the packer will examine a broader set of solutions when searching for the best result. Now keep in mind, this result is most useful when packing a limited number of islands. In such a case, it allows you to find a better solution than if you're using the default method. Now enabling this option is not recommended when packing a UV map containing a greater number of islands. And that's because for a greater number of islands, the advanced heuristic is not going to give you a better result. It'll just make searching less efficient. So let's quickly undo that. And I'm just going to select some of these islands and let's pack these islands with the advanced heuristic disabled first pack. And we can see that the packed islands is 0.574. So let's remember that number for a moment. And I'm gonna press control Z to undo that last operation. Now let's enable the advanced heuristic search and press pack again. And now you can see that the result was 0.614, which is much better than the previous number of 0.574. So the advanced heuristic improved our results. So that's all I want to show in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be covering another advanced functionality of the packer available in the following panels. Okay, so as you can see, UV Packmaster provides a ton of useful options to drive the UV packing process. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button when the next tutorial is ready. Thank you for watching. See you later.